So here's the truth about Charles Manson in 2023. So I'm currently in San Francisco, my hometown, and throughout like my entire childhood, for some reason, there was a lot of talk about Charles Manson and what he meant, like whether it be through school or whether it be through media, whether it be through social circles. And the narrative that was repeated to us is that what Charles Manson proved was that the whole Haight-Ashbury, you know, hippie, peace and love counterculture wasn't just about peace and love. They were all actually dangerous, psychotic, murderous, psychopaths and they're drug addicts. And that's why we need, you know, Ronald Reagan and George Bush to bring us back to America family values. You know what I mean? So it wasn't until I was older where I actually looked into like what Charles Manson and his crew really were talking about. And when I looked into it, conveniently, the one thing they never told us when I was a kid is that they were white supremacists. They were neo-Nazis. They were right-wing fascists, which seemed insane to me that that was never talked about. They were basically the 1960s equivalent of QAnon, MAGA conspiracy theories. And some of the talking points are identical to the exact stuff people like Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson are saying out. Like they believed in great replacement theory that a bunch of black and brown people are gonna replace all the white folks in the United States. So there inevitably there has to be a race war so we can make America great again. They said that the Jews controlled the media and all the banks. I mean, Charles Manson had a literal swastika tattooed in his forehead. And I even remember as a kid being like, that's weird, why does the Grateful Dead guy have a Nazi symbol on his head? Because that's how deep the false narrative had been. And in fact, the reason why they gained national fame was because they murdered Sharon Tate and her friends. And why they did this is because they were trying to frame the Black Panther Party so they can speed up the oncoming race war in the United States. So this just perfectly illustrates how in the US, whether we're talking about Charles Manson, George Washington, the pilgrims, that they will rewrite history to reinforce the message of US imperialism, manifest destiny, and white supremacy, even if the actual historical facts are in direct contradiction to that narrative. So you know that saying, people who don't know history, they're doomed to repeat it. And that's the thing in the US, is that people think they know history, but they know this fictional propaganda that just reinforces the same troubles. That's the reason why we have QAnon and MAGA and these white supremacists who think they're totally justified because everything they've been taught since day one says that they're on the right side of history.